Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix the YUM configuration files so that you can do some YUM updates and YUM installs via the command line in Fedora 13. Okay. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because uh, Fedora 13 is uh, so outdated that the repository configuration files are um, no longer relevant, so we're going to take care of that first thing we want to do um, is make sure that we have uh, an IP address and we have network connection so if we just do an IF I have config at the command line we should see that we do have a IP address and let's just ping something on the outside world to see that we have a connection I'm going to try Google. And it does look like I have a good connection, so we can start from there. I'm going to clear the screen. First thing we want to do is switch to uh, root user by typing in SU, which stands for switch user, not super user, like some people believe. So if you just type SU and nothing else, the system just um, believes that you want to be root by default. So just type SU, hit enter, put the root password in, and there you have it. You are now root. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and test it so I can show you. We'll do a, uh, we'll attempt to do a yum install update. And here you can see cannot retrieve repository metadata, da 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 da. Um, so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So the files that we want to edit are in the Etsy directory. Inside the yum repository directory. So we're going to change directories to that one more time. Inside there, there are three files, the fedora.repo, the fedora updates repo, and the fedora updates testing repo. We only want, we're only concerned with the first two. Okay. So we will start with the fedora.repo, and we're going to edit it using the VI editor. So VI fedora.repo. In here, um, if this doesn't make sense to you, that's okay for now. Maybe later, later on you can do um, a little research and uh, figure out what they mean in here. For now, we're just going to do our editing so we can do our updates and do some yum installs via the command line. And this is very simple. We just need to arrow down until we get to this first line where you see mirror list. Arrow over. The only thing we need to do is get rid of that S. So we're going to go into insert mode by hitting the I key, and then delete. Then we're going to arrow down, find the next one, same thing, delete. Arrow down, there's three of them all together. Find this one and delete. Now we need to save this, so in order to do that, hit the escape key, get out of the insert mode, then type a colon and then WQ for write quit. Okay. Then the next one. VI for uh, updates repo. Okay. We're going to do the same exact thing in this file. Arrow over until we get to the S. Insert mode. Delete, arrow down, delete, arrow down, delete, escape, colon, WQ. And there we have it. Okay, so we can try from right here, but I always, after um, editing files like that. I always like to do a uh, reboot, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway, just to see if it works. Do a yum install up 
update. And it is going to work for us. You can see it's going out now and it's looking to see if there are any updates. I doubt that there are since this is a older um, distribution of Fedora.